Hey guys, welcome back to JD's Network Training. In this session, we'll be looking at supernetting, where it's used, why it's used, and how it's used. So in this topology here, we have EIGRP running throughout this little domain here. And each one of these VPCSs are on their own individual subnet. As you can see, each of the masks are a class C mass with slash 24. So the third octet is the octet that shows the different networks. And from router one's perspective, we have three diff or four, excuse me, four different routes to get to these networks here. And if you look at a really large network, this isn't really scalable when you have a lot, a lot, a lot of networks. So we need to be able to tell router one that these networks are here, but we've organized them in a way that the networks are together, associated with the binary math, so that we can create a summary. So to see what that looks like, we're gonna configure summary routing on router two. Oops, we're doing gig. So now that it's been resynced, router one should have the current updated information. And now we can contact all these networks through router two, but we only need one route. So we'll show that just in case you don't believe me. Oops, does he not know his address? Let's see if that fixed it. And it did, now we can contact that host. So if you look back at the routing table, although we can communicate with all these four subnets, we only need one route to get all these subnets. And I want to show you a little file that shows you the math and how this is actually done. So I like to think of it at supernetting kind of as camouflage because it's kind of what it's doing. So here shown are four networks and how we make them appear as one network is we look at the binary octet that were, where they're different. Here it differentiates all the four different networks. But what we can do is look at the bits where they're all exactly the same. And we'll call that one network. So we use a 22 mask to represent these bits all being one network. And then the old network bits that were different become part of the host bits. So it kind of sees the different networks as really different hosts on the network. And that's how supernetting is done. I hope you're able to get something out of this. Thanks for viewing.